I've got a confession to make. I broke the 200 series. So here it is, the black hole on the 200 series. It's down there. So here it is, the power steering rack is out of the 200 series. I heard a knock in the front end. I investigated it. Uh, had a bit of a mischief on the last trip. So let's have a look on the bench and see what I've done. The rack's out of the car. It is a little bit of a tricky one to get out. Uh, we're going to replace the bushes in the rack. We've opted to go for aftermarket bushes. I couldn't get genuine rack bushes for it. Um, so we've got the rack out. We've obviously taken the strut out. We've had to lower the arm, roll the rack around, tilt it down. It was a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but we got it out. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but a bit of mucking around. All right, so what caused this? Probably a little bit of impact. As you can see, this is a bash pan off the front of the vehicle. It goes from the radiator, lower radiator support, actually at the front here, to under the front of the chassis rail where the engine is, um, cross member, so to say. And as you can see, you can probably see it a little bit bent there, but have a look at this angle. You can get that. It's looking pretty unique. Let's just use that word. Maybe a little bit of speed coming to this. I misjudged a bit of a whoop in the track. Uh, the kids told me about it, but I just hanged on and yeah, it was a long drive home. So what else is happening? Tires, I've made a decision. I'm gonna swap the tires out. What am I gonna go with? I'm gonna go with Maxxis, Mud Terrains. I've run the Toyo uh, Open Countries. The, these guys here are the RTs. I've had two sets on the car. They've done me well. However, they're just not wearing as well as I would like. Um, still been a great tire, don't get me wrong. I've never staked them, had an issue but the Maxxis on the 70 series has made me think it's time for a change. So Maxxis Mud Terrains is going on it. Uh, we're gonna head down to the tire shop and get them fitted to the vehicle. And before you ask, yes, I'm gonna keep the rims, just changing the tires. All right, we're at Bridgestone Tapping. The tires are going on today. Dale, what are we gonna put on the car? Today we're putting uh, Maxxis Razors, uh, the Mud Terrain tires. Uh, we have, they're the tires that Travis has selected. He's got them on his 79, really good tire. Uh, good for what Travis does, it will handle all the damage it does to his cars. The tyres won't fall off, the car will probably break before the tyres do. Um, so we do, we've done the alignment on the vehicle because he has damaged the steering rack and repaired it underneath. So that's all done. So we had to do the wheel line first to try and get the wheels straight enough to drive the car. Um, now we're going to put the Maxxis razors on and redo the wheel line after that. And have you back on the road. Oh, I'm excited to get this thing back on the road and these uh, mud train tyres as well are going to be awesome you can see even going to make your recovery vehicle I reckon I'm going to get you out of all those mischief you've got in before um, That's it unless you haven't broken the car before we get to the track I've recovered you more than uh, you've recovered me hmm, Let me think I do remember an old Landover recovering this vehicle No, no, I'm pretty sure I towed you out I've got it on camera Oh, it's the one with our bike that did the, the diff, yes. You tried oh. to outdo the 200 <laughs> and you smashed your diff and I towed you home. Yes, and okay, said, I'll admit that one, it. I'll admit that one, but it's one each side. One each. Yeah, because I towed you out when you were bellied out, remember? Four max tracks underneath and didn't get you out and I ended up towing you out. Remember that one? Can't, I don't remember that. <laughs> Okay, so we're here back at PDP, got the 200 in the workshop. Let's jump down, check out the tyres. First of all, why did I go to the Maxxis and what, what have we put on the vehicle? Obviously, we've got the LT285 65-18s. Um, they're not the all-terrains. Obviously, I've gone like with the mud terrain pattern. And straight away, I was thinking, is it going to have more road noise? And let's just say, I'm very impressed. Just on the short drive back here, straight away, they're already quieter. Um, now off-road, winter camping, mud, all that sort of stuff. I'm hoping I'm gonna get better traction with these. The other reason I have changed to these is having this tire also on the 70 series, it performs much better than I ever expected in the beach sand. So it doesn't just dig holes, obviously with an aggressive tread pattern, 
that's usually what you're going to get with it. Just digs to, the, you know, going to get big potholes as soon as you hit the gas. It moves dirt really well. I'm looking for separation with the mud off-road as well. That's something I've, I've struggled with with this vehicle. Obviously, I'm restricted by uh, ride height. Doesn't have a huge lift, so I'm relying on the, the lockers and the quality tyres to get me through all the obstacles. And another thing we've put in here, uh, upper control arms, we've upgraded them. I did have the Blackhawks, just the, uh, the original Blackhawk upper control arms. I've gone with a fully adjustable, and what that's gonna give me is more camber and caster adjustment, just so I can get an extra bit of wheel alignment adjustment so I can look after the tires and hopefully they're gonna last a lot longer. All right, before we head off road, the bash pans, the skid pans, you can see all the marks on here. That's one thing, need to address. What do you run on your car? Two things that I look for, I don't want excessive weight, so these aren't too heavy, they're still strong. However, as you can see, I have had impact damage, so I do need to sort that out. I don't want to go for something that's extremely heavy, it's going to add too much weight to the car. What do you run on your vehicle? You know, there's something about this car, I just don't want to get rid of it yet. I know everyone says, you got a 300, get rid of the 200. It still sits very close to my heart. It's taken me a lot of places, a lot of experiences, and that's why I put some tires on it, done a few little upgrades, and I've still got that soft spot for it. I'm keeping it a bit longer before I'm even contemplating saying it's looking for a new owner. So question 200, 300, what would you pick? Now, if you're in Perth and you're after quality gear, come and see us. You know we're located in Wangara. Hit us up, get in touch. Until next time, see you on the tracks.